Hi, my name is Larry Newman. I'm an attorney. I'm located in Ithaca, New York. Today I'd like to talk to you about when is a plea bargain not really a bargain? You know, more than 90, 95% of the cases in this country, criminal cases, are, are negotiated and we have plea bargains. There's a plea offer made by the district attorney. It saves time, it saves money, it saves aggravation all the way around. But truly, we talk about it as plea bargaining. But sometimes a plea bargain is no bargain at all. So I wanted to kind of give you the three things that I believe don't make a plea bargain a real plea bargain. Okay, so number one is, anybody knows this, that buys anything. A plea bargain or a bargain of any type is not a bargain if you're paying too much for it. Paying too much could be two things. Number one is you're paying too much, too many charges, or the charges are too high, so it could be related to charges, or they're having a sentencing recommendation that's out of line. That's not for what your true situation is. In other words, the prosecutor is going to recommend a sentence that's not in line with what your situation is. First time offense, second time offense, you have no prior histories. These are the things. The second part of a plea bargain that doesn't make it a plea bargain is if there's obligations within the plea. In other words, there's things that you're going to have to overdo or conditions that are open-ended that you don't even know what they're gonna be. What if it says you have to do everything related to drug alcohol evaluation, or you have to do everything related to a mental health evaluation? That might open you up to years of therapy or years of treatment that you didn't really bargain for, you didn't really openly understand that you had those obligations. So you have to really read through what you're signing up for, so to speak. The third part of a plea bargain that makes it not a bargain is, what if you get a great deal from the prosecutor and your attorney tells you about it, but you know, the judge isn't going to go along with it. Well, it's like going into a car dealership and the guy that's selling you the car says, oh yeah, I'm going to give you this, this, and this, and this for $10,000. And then he says, but I have to check it out with my manager. He goes back to the manager and the manager says, no way you're letting that car leave the lot for $10,000. The judge is always the ultimate decider of the case or the plea bargain. So the judge oversees the plea bargain process. And you have to know what's within the limits of what the judge is gonna accept. If the judge doesn't accept the deal, then it's no deal because you're never gonna get it. So it's great to get it, but you're not gonna consummate the deal. That's the real deal. You have to finish it. You gotta really pay. So those are the three things that make a plea bargain not a bargain at all. If you have any questions about your DWI case, personal injury case, please feel free to give me a call. This is what I do. I'd be more than happy to give you some direction.